That was nice, just bring everybody up to speed. So uh, February 6th is the deadline for any appeals to get filed on that. So uh, if and when we can get through that process, then uh, Bill and I will uh, continue to move forward with the next steps, which goes into other levels of uh, construction drawing. Uh, we need to uh, uh, solicit, uh, yeah, well, we need to solicit structural engineering, civil engineering, uh, landscape design engineering, and there's a lot of other steps when you get into the building. But we want to move it as quick as possible so that if there's any way to get this RFP and get everything put together so we can actually start by the uh, end of the construction phase. So is the hope to have it built before next winter? Um, I'm gonna ha I, I don't, that is a wonderful goal. I don't know if it's a realistic yeah. goal yet. I, I need to backwards engineer this yeah. and look at where we're at, go back to all of the biological reports. Um, now that we know that we're good, ideally, to move forward with all of this stuff and just look at all of the timings of when we're allowed to do certain things and backwards engineer and say, how much time do, do we need? Do we need regulatory agency permits? Um, the regulatory, no, the regulatory agencies have not chimed in on any of the initial study or anything like that. And this doesn't actually touch the creek bank. Right. Uh, fish and wildlife, um, and, you know, will play good. They might want, to, they will be more concerned with the demolition and a lot less concerned with the building of the new facility. Um, just because of how precarious it is on the creek banks and pulling it off and uh, the restoration work and everything else, but they did not, they had zero comments on any, you know, even comments along the lines of we need to be consulted. And, you know, so yeah. when we went through the initial study and uh, um, mitigated and that, um, they had no comments whatsoever. But they reviewed it. Yeah, that's good. Yep. I'd also like to uh, thank you, Eric, for carrying it yeah. all to the end zone. I mean, well, we're not home yet. Well, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I think the, I think the end zone was that uh, planning commission there you approval. Yeah. It was a big, it was a big hurdle. So yeah. thank you. There's a lot of people working really hard. Yeah, but uh, you know, in the past, that would tend to have, you know, it's like it's, it's such a headache. I just, you know, put it down and we'll address it again. We'll address it again. But you, you, know, you stuck with it and we got it there. I appreciate that. Well, I feel like that's what, when, when we first started talking about this, I think somebody had presented that this was like talked about, but always just kicked down the road. Exactly. Nobody wanted to. Well, take the, it the, 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 the road, we we crashed through the dead end of that road yeah. many, many, yeah. many years ago. There was no choice, there's no alternative. Right. Um, what we have is just, it, it, it's no longer a feasible solution. Right. It, it, it cannot be put off any longer. The longer you put it off, the harder it's going to be down the line. I think that was the big lesson on this is they should have really done something about this 20 years ago. You know, it's uh, it been a lot easier to push it through. And you know, the longer you wait, the more red tape you have to cut through and the more expensive it's going to be and everything else. So, uh, but I feel good. I feel proud of how we've done it. Everything's been very, in my opinion, very transparent, very open, very uh, by the book. I thought it was crossed. Uh, and I appreciate it. We have a good showing of community support. I feel that went to the planning commission meeting yesterday too. It is online. I already posted on the county website. Uh, you just Google Marin County Planning Commission agendas. Um, you can watch the video on the presentations if you want to. So it was good. Thank you.